the Seas Day number four is where we find ourselves at in the timeline and where we find ourselves at geographically is a new destination. Rotan Honduras! We've never been here before. We're excited to finally be in a port and we have a very cool excursion. Let's go ahead and get it started. Day number four, Liberty of the Seas begins right now. It's gonna be a good one. I'm not gonna say it this time. Yes, I am. It is Wednesday, my dudes. <laughs> Quick scan of the Sea Pass card, and we are on land. That was one of the quickest we've ever disembarked a ship. There was no line. We didn't have to wait for an elevator, no line to get off. I think because we got here really early. Yeah, like early in the morning, like not we're early. Like we're just right yeah. before our actual we're, excursion trust time. Me, we're never early. <laughs> I mean, we're not as late as we usually are, but we're, we're definitely still not early. <laughs> we gotta go find a place to meet for our excursion today. Ooh, look at those pretty shutters. Oh, those are nice, very colorful. Our tickets say we're in zone four, zone one through seven this way, and also Royal Caribbean Shore excursions this way. Well, let's go this way. We'll walk, walk along the little bay here with the clear water. You actually see some coral down there. Some coral, other stuff going around. Also, they stopped us there and asked to see our shore excursion ticket. Yeah, which they never do. You but usually, here. yeah, you usually don't even need the tickets. They're kind of just for whatever. But I guess here you'll definitely want to have them. Here we are, zone four. zones and they have signs up too like you can see here all the different excursions for this zone well since we're standing here waiting yeah. we want to go ahead and give the big reveal of what we're doing we get to meet three fun animals today oh iguanas monkeys and my favorite before we do an excursion like uh -huh. this. And everything I read says they take excellent care of the animals. Everything's clean there. It's like a sanctuary for them. So. Yeah, the animals are happy. We're happy. Yes. So it's going to be a happy day. Happy travels. <laughs> <laughs> One other thing we did want to point out, you'll see it here. It says easy Roatan monkey sloth and iguana and accessible Roatan monkey and iguana. They said it doesn't matter which, um, which title you book. You just, they all end up here. Yeah. Like, like it all funnels to the same place. So it doesn't matter which one you book. Uh, the only thing that really matters is which time you book. Cause I do think there's two different times you can book. So, but no matter how exactly it's titled, as long as it's sloths, monkeys, and iguanas. That's right. You're good. You're gonna end up here with us and play with fun animals. And this is how Matt typically fits in public transportation spaces. I feel like I'm in timeout. <laughs> it is air conditioned though, so that's nice. No, yeah, it's a nice bus. It's air conditioned. Seats are a okay. And um, oh, you do have to wear masks on the bus as of right now. Just FYI. Ready to take a ride? More importantly, ready to take a ride to see some fun animals? Absolutely. We'll go see the iguanas at a different spot later. And we are hang, heading into the hangout. There we go. We do have to keep our masks on uh, while we go inside the hangout. Unless you're taking a photo, then that's okay. You can remove it to take a photo, and then you have to put it back on. So we're starting with the sloths. And they told us that you just hold the sloth. You act like a tree, basically. Don't rock them. Don't pet them. You just hold them. And they hang on to you, you know, interact with them for a little bit, 
take a photo or whatever. And they said they have eight slots and they free roam through the trees here. Oh, yeah. And they rotate them so that they're not overstimulated. So they bring a few out to do group interaction, then they go back to bed in the trees, they bring another few out. Yeah. So that's really cool. I think this is the part I'm most excited about. Sloth time. Oh. See the sloth. I'm gonna be their tree. <laughs> There's the sloth. <laughs> so here's one of the guys demonstrating exactly what you do. You just stand there. Let the sloth grab onto you, chill out. No cutting, no swaying, no rocking. Just hang out. Hey, this little monkey's trying to nick stuff out of this bag. Look at him. He's like, come on, get it here. It's mine. I'm going to take it. I'm a thief. Oh my god. He's strong. He might get it. That's amazing. So if I heard correctly, this line on the back is not a scar or anything. It's completely natural and only the males have that. The moment she's been waiting for. Olivia. Can you turn this So this one's Olivia. Aww. Well, that was the moment you've been waiting for. That was amazing. She was so like, she's just gentle. She has like her little claws, but like they don't, she doesn't like dig in or anything. They just, it's like, it's like a sleeping baby. It's just like <laughs> resting on you. Oh my gosh, she was so precious. I, oh, I, I want to do that like a million times over. That was, I, I don't even care what happens the rest of the excursion. That like, one I, minute just made the cruise. The, the whole cruise. <laughs> the whole cruise was made in and, that one minute. And there's more to come. I know. And you still have to do it. Yeah, I still haven't held the slot yet. I, I don't know if like being like, I was trying not to be like loud so I didn't like scare her or anything. But inside I was going, <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Giving you a good bear hug. Well, a good sloth hug. What's his name? Randy. Randy. And they have Sid as well. Like I say. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. God. so cool. The so hardest cool. part is to like not pet them. This one too. I know. Yeah. They said not to pet them, not to rock them, but it's so hard because they're just so precious. You just want to give them love. It's also hard not to squeal in excitement. Yeah. But oh my gosh, you are just the cutest. You and Olivia, you got it going on. Oh, you are just comfortable. You guys are best buds now. Yeah, I'm moving around. Here. No. I'm a good tree. Randy had to stretch quite a bit to, to reach your shoulders, but once he did, he was comfortable. Amazing. Was that not the best thing ever? It really was. Even like just doing nothing, just standing there, but it was fantastic. That was shrimp. The macaw agrees. <laughs> We're gonna go inside the monkey cages now, and they said only things you should take inside are phones and cameras. Yes, nothing in your pockets. They even said take out earrings and hearing aids. Yeah. Because they'll they'll grab them and take them. If you're going in the cage, if you're staying outside, you don't need to do all that. But yeah. we're going in the cage. But they do get in the cage. Get in the cage with the capuchin. <laughs> they do though have a, a rack where you can put things. Yep. Just I wouldn't put it too close to the end, otherwise. As we saw earlier. Might get nicked. <laughs> Further instruction: just let the monkeys come to you. 
Okay. They will do it. You don't need to pick them up. Don't grab them. <laughs> it's like Ace Ventura. Come to me, my animal <laughs> friends. <laughs> also, I really like how the water just comes up under these like mangrove type trees. Alright, now we're in there. It's monkey cage time. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, hi there. <laughs> right from the jump. Went right to you. You were first to number one. <laughs> Oh, I like the beans. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a camera. Hi, Vinny. You're not the camera, man. I am. Give me that. Like, this is the experience you paid for. Oh, look at the little I think it's pretty zoomed in on you, man. Hey, hey, that's my mic. That's my mic. You can't eat that. It's just a little fuzzy. He's looking for his close-up. Yeah, look. Do you see the monkey right here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, say hello to YouTube. No, not the mic. <laughs> Let me run the camera. You just sit there and look pretty. Hello. Uh, I don't think so. You know, they're kind of messy. <laughs> they love you. <laughs> no, the exposure's fine. You don't need to adjust the exposure. It's good. It's not the light. That's the mic again. It's just <laughs> <laughs> they liked you, and more importantly, they liked the camera. So I'm gonna take it off really quick. This is what they keep trying to get our little <laughs> yeah. wind muff cover for the mic. Maybe it looks like a very fuzzy kiwi. <laughs> Tail right to the face. I love it. Oh, it likes your headband. Oh well, who it's looking inside. Oh, there's. <laughs> Do no... you have fruit hidden inside your head? Oh, it likes your beads. Oh, Go for the beads now. Those aren't treats. Those aren't like kernels of corn. But I'm glad you like them. It's I made curious. them myself. Oh, it's biting it. <laughs> oh, wait. That's the mic again. You don't have to be scared. Whoa. <laughs> Hanging out here. Say hello. Oh, oh, you're gone. <laughs> you know, you have a history with cruising and monkeys on your shoulder. Going back to our days at St. Kitts. Monkey on my shoulder, monkey on my headband. Monkeys are welcome. Monkeys everywhere. <laughs> You again. <laughs> oh, maybe they like my mask. Oh, Abu. Abu? Hello. <laughs> Let me get a clip of it. You're so cute. What are you oh. doing? Oh. Incoming. Went to the bathroom. <laughs> Oh man, it got you. It got me. <laughs> so that uh, guy has a slot that was just interacting with people and now they're taking it back over to the trees. So it starts so it doesn't get overstimulated. The guy's putting it back in the tree. So it can go back to sleep. Hang out over there. <laughs> Eating the mic cover again. You love that thing, don't you? Yes, you do. What's your name? Are you Marcel? That's my watch. It'll cost you. <laughs> this one's hitching a ride. I love it. That's amazing. Alright <laughs> so, hey guys, we're gonna get ready to start heading out. As soon as we do, I want you guys to grab your bags and everything left outside. And we're gonna be heading down that way to the birds. That'll be the last part of the tour. And they have some other animals too that we're not interacting with. It's hard to see them because they went in their house, but they have some coat mundis up there. And the big spider monkeys are in this building. I like this spider monkey so much. So we have to watch her a lot. She can Look at that. Tail. Look at that. Oh, using the tail to try to get These are the only monkeys, guys, that can actually grab stuff with their tail. These are the only ones also that have four fingers, no thumbs on their hands. Four fingers. Now five on their feet and their tail. It's prehensile. So they can consider that as an arm or a finger. That's why the knee has skin. <laughs> Now we're gonna interact with some birds. Ooh. I feel like macaws. Also, I found a bonus animal that you're particularly going to enjoy. Oh, really? Oh, really? You know that. Okay. Oh my. That's how they do it. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, hi! Wow. <laughs> you have some mass to you. That's a big bird. That is a big bird. You are mighty. It's good at cracking them. What's this one yeah. say? Rose. Rose? Rose. Hi, Rose. Every rose has its thorn. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> big bird on my head, big bird on my mask. Nice. Yeah. Now I see what Chelsea's talking about, the animal that I love. Yeah. Oh, big orange cat. Right there. Oh, there we go. Love the chin scratch. Yes, yes we do. Every kitty loves chin scratch. Um, I do want to mention, because we are with animals, Animals eat, and then animals do the thing that you do after you eat. And there is a very strong possibility that it will end up on you. Yeah. It did on me. That's why I'm sporting um, um, some toilet paper lint on my shirt. <laughs> but I do want to mention, like, one, that that's completely normal, and there's a probability that that will happen. So if you're not okay with that, then this may not be for you. But I definitely would say don't let that discourage you from doing it because. The experience immensely outweigh the poop, okay? <laughs> so there's that. Um, number two, they do have bathrooms that you can wash up in and like clean yourself if you need to. Perfect. Yeah. I don't want to leave, but we do have some more animals to go see. Yay! And here's their social media information if you want to check them out. They also have merchandise. You can purchase t-shirts, polo shirts, hats, bags. And then it looks like some handicraft stuff, even some paintings of sloths, wood carvings, lots of fun stuff. Just a short drive over, I'd say like five minutes from where we just were. We're at the world famous Arches Iguana Reserve. Iguana! Iguana time. This is a baby iguana exhibit. You can actually see some hanging out in there. So these are the young ones that are green. And as they get older and bigger, they'll become like brownish orange. And she just said they keep the babies inside the cage because uh, other larger iguanas will eat them if they were to find them. And an interesting fact they told us on the ride over, which again was only about five minutes very quick, yeah. um, was that the iguanas here, it's like a 10 acre sanctuary. So this is a safe place for the iguanas. Anywhere else though on the island, their food. So they will catch them and, yeah. and uh, So this them. is this is the safe place for the iguanas yeah. on the island. They're, so. they're here they're good. Oh, <laughs> you're so precious. Oh, you're so pretty. Beautiful green color. Scales are so shiny. Yeah. <laughs> oh look at that tongue. Oh my goodness. All right, that was the babies. Now we go see the big ones. The mamas and the papas. And there are tons, tons of iguanas here. And some are quite large. Take in those rays, friend. Look at that It's a beautiful one. sunny day. It's like a prehistoric creature. Look at all of the iguanas. Dozens. Just all taken in the sun. I like how this one has the uh, dangly chin. So if y'all want to feed them, these are the leaves. You can just hold it up from the Ooh, we get to feed them. Welcome. All right, we got our leaves on the stem here. So you just hold it down, and then they come up and eat it. Some uh, leaf action here. There we go. Nice. It's a big bite. There you go. Wow. Nice. Things are climbing all over Can each other. Can I feed another here. one? Hey, let this one yeah. get some. Oh, he's yeah. going to go over there. Okay. You want here, you want some? Yummy. Some leaf? More for you. And they said you can try to pet the bigger ones. Just pet them on the side. If they don't want to be pet, they'll leave. He's loving it. Wants some more. <laughs> going to go for a pet? Yeah. What's the worst that can happen, right? They run away. Okay. <laughs> If they finish your leaf, they're gonna put that big one. There you go. He's just chilling in the sun here. So, guys, if you feel so cool. Uh, you want some? Come on. 
There we go. So the smaller ones are females, don't have the big spikes, and the males have the big jawbone there. Do you mind if I pet you? Here? Wow. Don't they feel so cool? Nice and dry. This one that was napping has fallen asleep on your shoe. That means we're friends forever. I think you have to stay now. You live at the iguana farm. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Whoa! You you threw down your stem, and all of a sudden your napping friend <laughs> awoke in a hurry took it and downed it in about two seconds. He downed that stem like how you down pizza. Straight up. Want to see which iguana represents me? Yeah. This one. Oh, the Off one by, by itself. itself. <laughs> in the shade, taking it easy. Which one represents me? That feisty little green one right there. Uh -huh. I love how the like older and larger ones are orange. Not even like brown, just orange. Like a nice rust copper orange color to them. I think it's really cool how their color represents their age. Yeah. Whoa, this is cool. The guy just said that they lose their tails, but the tails grow back. And for example, if you had an orange one, if the tail broke off on an orange section, the whole tail would grow back orange. If it broke off on a black section, the whole tail would grow back black. That's so cool. That is really cool. This is like, I'm learning a lot of cool stuff on this excursion. This is neat. Very cool. Feeding frenzy. Ooh, now we're heading down to the water. Got some fish to see, and it's gorgeous out. Look at, they got the breakers, get the reef out there. Keep the waters nice and calm. It is a beautiful day here. So the tarpons. Oh, okay. <laughs> and a beautiful day. Before we leave, wanted to point out that they did have restrooms here, just like they did back at the sloth and monkey location. They also have merchandise, gift shop, and drinks, things like that for purchase. No one shall ascend the staircase while I'm on guard. Except me. <laughs> oh, look at this really big one in the tree there. Up in the limb. Much of them. That's Look, this is a different species. Mm -hmm. She says very rare, like you don't see these as much. It's endemic to the island. Wow, it's like white and black. That's really cool. Scar, brother, help me! <laughs> and after about a 20 minute drive, we've arrived at our final stop. McCall Market. This is awesome. So it's, uh, as the name would suggest, it's a market, different stores, looks like they do have some restaurants here as well. And we have 30 minutes to just kind of take a look around shop. They said all the merchandise here is made in Roatan. It's, yeah. You know, or in Honduras at least. Back at the, uh, the Monkey and Sloth place, I got to see a cat. Well, there's a dog for you. Oh, it's a hound dog. It is a hound dog. Oh, you're And we also have the programs dogs. for the children in the neighborhood in Palatilli on the east side it's called Rest Fire. So we're teaching local children young how to be It's trying to reach educate the poor community. And you can follow us. We're getting dogs, cats, sloths, monkeys, iguanas, nutcrackers. <laughs> <laughs> And just to give an idea of what all they have here, there's a unique woodcraft store, micro industry missions market, and other handicraft stuff down there. There's a liquor store, tattoo and piercings. They also have jewelry over there. This is a chocolate factory and cafe next door with some food and drinks inside. Up top, there's a juice bar. And there's some other kind of restaurants, a Bodega 22 with wine, whiskey, and cigars. And 
and I'm not sure what Puchika is. It might be a food area. Yeah, I see octopus, grilled pork chops, so that's food. And then there's actually a third level that has another bar and food area up top there. And we're actually here apparently during rainy season, which is basically in line with the Northern Hemisphere winter. So I think she said like, November to February. November to February. Some time March. March, yeah. Um, but as you can see, it's a bright, sunny, beautiful day today, which yeah. I guess is kind of rare for this time of year. So uh -huh. we really lucked out with that. Yeah. Especially with the iguanas, because obviously iguanas are cold-blooded animals, so they don't come out if it's raining or it doesn't get cold here. But right. So if it's a rainy day, your experience might be a little bit different. But we definitely got really lucky that we have a nice, bright, warm, sunny day. And it has been an excellent excursion and a fantastic value, if you ask us, because we paid like 50 bucks each for this. I, I think it was like 50 or like 59, I think was maybe what it was. We paid for it on the app, like, like we bought it once on ship because yeah. we came very unprepared for, for this sailing because we just had holiday times and we were busy and stuff. But, oh my gosh, I, I, I think it's 100 worth it. I mean, I think it's a great deal because as, as excursions go, that's pretty cheap and it's a really good excursion. All right, that's it for McCall Market and our excursion. Let's go on the bus and head back to the port. Back at the port area. That was a great excursion. That was 1000% worth it. I feel good. Feel very good. I feel Highly very recommend. Good. Very now, before we get back on board, mm -hmm. we had a client and friend of the channel ask if we could show the shopping area right here at the cruise terminal. So, let's head to the shopping village. All right, so they have Tukan souvenir and gift shop, which has T-shirts and bracelets, postcards, keychains. I gotta step in because I'm gonna like put my mask back on right now. But yeah, typical kind of clothes. Lots of stuff going on in there. Snorkels, masks, hats, all kinds of stuff. Next door to that, they do have the Honduras wooden craft hut. So, obviously, as the name would suggest, making things out of wood. Different decor and bowls and cups and canes, walkers, things like that. And they also do have the Rotary International Passport stamp booth here as well. Which is selling some t-shirts, swim shirts, save the reef kind of stuff, right? Oh, this is the Rotan Marine Park. Shop to support. So they have lots of t-shirts and mugs, merchandise here. Next to that, we have the Crazy Pineapple Bar. I love that they have the uh, wooden swings here. You can swing right at the bar, get a drink there, and they do have covered tables and chairs as well. Another booth here with some, like, vases or vases, <laughs> pots, and different kind of looks like ceramics, maybe. Back at the big building, they do have a Harley Davidson. There's a pharmacy, convenience store area. Sea Goddess, which has uh, jewelry, as well as some t-shirts. And then there's a Piranha Joe official store as well, of course, with all that themed merchandise. Oh, and this is cool. They have the Caribbean fish therapy. I think this is where you, uh, you put your feet in to the tanks of fish there and they eat away the dead skin. Next to that is another little hut. It's got some small like ukuleles, wood flutes, recorders, bottle openers, knives, different kind of things. It's like rainmaker instruments, maracas, stuff like that. They have a uh, catrachita here. It has some sodas, waters, drinks, and food and piranhas, things like that. Jewelry and handicraft station. Roatan Sensations has wooden made things, signs, other stuff like that. And we have some more bags, t-shirts, flip-flops, hats. It's all the typical stuff that you would expect. They have some seashell uh, jewelry and merchandise there, as well as a magnetic upcycling art and beauty body care. That's, that's quite a name there. And you see the sign here, they do have a rum factory, coffee view, Honduras experience, rum bar, shows, and a restaurant. Fortunately, the escalators are closed right now, but they do have some nice waterfalls on either side. Right next door to put it on your bingo card for a Caribbean port, Diamonds International. And then there's this larger outdoor covered seating area. Looks like it's a big bar here. Lots of different drinks served in pineapples. I don't know if they have food. Yeah, they do have food. They do have food. Shrimp ceviche. So maybe some smaller bites. I think drinks is, is the main thing that they got going on here. As well as a fresh coconut water stand. And 
and Colombian Emeralds International. Inside the big building is a coffee view station right next to the to the ship and the area you go back in. And then this just goes, they do have a Drinky Monkey Funky Bar. Funny bar? Funky bar? I can't tell what it says. Up top there, and then this is just Columbia Emeralds going on again. And then this is where we went for our tour earlier. You can see it says tours and the zones this way. So down that uh, little boardwalk is where we went earlier. And I think that pretty much gives you the idea what the shopping area is like here. Let's head back on board. Liberty of the Seas. And now, Abu, we feast. All right. So we've been enjoying our lunch on the balcony. It's crazy how many fish you can see, even all the way from up here. So you see that school there. It looks like maybe blue tangs. I can't say for sure. I've seen several parrotfish swimming through. Um, some longer like needlefish. The ropes are in, the thrusters are on, and we have pushed back from the dock. Wow, what a great day it was today though. What a great, great day. Excellent first visit to Roatan, Honduras. But now, we must depart. Bye Roatan. Bye Roatan. More importantly, bye Olivia and Randy. <laughs> Wherever you are. You're, pro you're probably sleeping in the mangroves right now. Yes, yes, our sloth friends. We will hopefully see them again sometime. Well, what a fun day that was, and it draws to a close. It was such a fun day! I want to play with cute animals every day of my life. That would be fantastic. Hoffman's happy play with animals. <laughs> that, it's an idea. Tell us what you think. Tomorrow, day number five, we will be stopping in Costa Maya, Mexico. Of course, if you're interested in booking your own cruise, we're travel agents. We can help make that happen. It's completely free to you. So feel free to reach out via that travel agent information in the description of this video. You can also visit our website, hoffmanhappytravels.com and reach us there as well. Once again, I want to thank you for joining us today. See you back tomorrow, day number five, on board Liberty of the Seas and at Costa Maya, Mexico. But until then, we're signing off for the night. Happy, Happy travels. travels! I'm a sloth. Time to go to sleep. Now I'm a monkey. Good night! <laughs>